been telling us and we've been talking about expecting more rain and windy conditions throughout the day. So that means beachgoers can expect high surf and red flag conditions. Yeah, so Stephen Moody is live in Gulf Shores this morning. Stephen, I see you got your rain jacket on. How's it looking there? Yeah, hey, how's it going? It is getting a little bit rough out here. The rain has started to fall. We're actually under the Gulf State Pier right now, which is helping us, but it is expected to get worse throughout the afternoon. The temps may be nice, but with a look to the sky and to the water, you can see what's ahead. Beach safety officials saying that by Wednesday night, conditions could be dangerous with large waves and a high risk of rip currents. But before that, beachgoers got a chance to enjoy the calmness of the water. It's uh, perfect weather right now for fishing. Uh, it's not too rough. Nice wind, uh, good surf. So I just fish for about two hours in the morning, wrap it up, and come out again tomorrow. And knowing when to leave is a good thing, and it's important to know the beach conditions. That's why visitors of the area chose the morning to take their walk. When you don't have this in your backyard at home, it's like, no, this is this is one. So they're they're used to changing conditions. You know, you're gonna have summer, winter, and fall all in the same week down here. <laughs> and when in doubt, just stay inside. You no, know, use common sense. You know, if if you see there's bad weather moving and actually go inside, don't come out. <laughs> it's gonna be raining. Uh, wind's gonna get up towards early afternoon, so try it again tomorrow. And as always, to stay up to date on the conditions out here on the beach, just text AL Beaches to 888-777. Reporting live this morning here in Gulf Shore, Stephen Moody, Fox 10 News.